you watching this video this game is going to be in a testing phase a very early testing phase and we have a lot of stuff to add we have to add dungeon raids new magic new maps everything whole nine yards so while you're watching this video try to keep in fact that this game has only four like 5k members inside the discord right now and we've been making this game for only three months this game has been in development for three months and we're already about to have a whole release and testing and everything some games have been in development for way longer and has even made as much progress as we did with this game so while you're watching this video i hope you guys enjoy it just just timelines on the video for y'all so i'm actually a developer for this game i'm actually the effect maker i have remade some effects inside this game due to the last particle maker not really being that good so again this game has been in development for three months and already about to have a testing phase and if you guys want to get tester level 15 or invest or you can do 20 invites well hope you guys enjoyed the video hey yo what is good with y'all boys this is the memory onto the cut and today you already have another video i'm actually recording this video at 5 a.m so you know i'm not gonna really be that hype but you know i'll try to make the editing as you know a little good as possible so while you're watching this video uh public testing probably dropped for the game and you're probably having a little timer of one hour and 30 minutes and you're watching this video like hey what are the simple things i can learn in this game well there's actually gonna be timelines on the video so you know don't worry about that before we get right into this video make sure to like and subscribe follow my tour down in the description below as the fellow vfx maker magic era i'll be proud to actually make this video for y'all so i got y'all bro so when you first spawn into this game you're gonna have to reroll your element because that's how you can even play the game at all if you don't have an element you're not allowed to play the game period as we all know the game is actually inspired off a of fairy tale which is called magic era and if we go to reroll element you can actually see that i have thunder dragon slayer which is 0.1 percent chance right here we have the common the uncommons rare and legendary all i'm gonna say is that i'll be showcasing this magic to y'all later bro because i ain't gonna lie some of these matches are actually pretty good when you're first spawning into the game your game will look exactly like this well you'll be having different spawn locations so when you press m you'll be having your stats you'll be having your profile your magic quest guild game passes etc etc you can go to settings to disable damage indicator, enable rank tags, low graphics music, and disable screen shake. For the codes, we'll be having codes soon inside this game, so make sure you be worth it. And then magic, uh, every time you always level up and stuff and your magic level goes up, you'll be able to unlock magic. Pretty self-explanatory. But it's that same thing for stats too. For the profile, profile actually shows you graces. Now, graces are basically just traits. Fast hands makes you require faster, you know, literally faster combat. Faster combat speed. Quick feet makes you literally faster, but you know, uh i don't want to really you know explain every single thing so you know i'll leave the trello down below and right here we have investment points so what these actually mean is that you only get a maximum of 250 investment points inside of this game this right here shows how much investment points you use and this one here shows up how much you have now i only have 800 because you know i low-key boosted myself you know hella but you know we don't talk about it <laughs> and right here we have a little guild then we have time played 14 hours then you have your race and your gender and then we also have quests right here too uh whenever you always pick up a quest it shows your quest same thing for guild it says that i see i'm on the founder of the guild it's just a little test guild and i'll show you how to make those later next is the game passes too uh y'all can buy whatever you want there so when you first run into the game um there will be this huge little guild hall up here which is very easy to find you just have to really look up the hill and then you'll be able to find it this is where you mostly want to go to this is mostly where you probably want to hang out so right here when you go inside of here you have this man called senti senti craze over here i heard outside of magnolia is scary really yeah i don't suggest going out there unless you're high ranking uh little grammar check please and then right here we have the main man himself the owner of the game avax drag Neil. uh you can actually talk to him actually how to create a guild i actually disable my guild right now if i go over here and press disable and guild there we go just like that and if you go over here and just simply talk to him hello i'm the guild master avax are you looking to create a guild requirements d minus rank yes i am well it seems like you meet the requirements please choose your name wisely and then you can choose your name guild color rgb value now here's where it is what i'm going to be doing for y'all is i'm going to be linking a rgb color palette for you guys in the description below where all you have to do is just look on the right side of decimal code rgb just literally copy the code and boom you have your color right there same for the next one boom now reminder this game is not available on mobile yet yet not available on mobile yet so we made the go we made the go magic era boom look at that and right up here it shows you get up here and every time you always invite people it will show it if you hover over the name it actually shows your real name and then it's just your little surname now you guys must be wondering how do i get my first element that's easy all you have to do is go and reroll element and just literally do magic experience now you're probably wondering how do i level up now you can level up by either really gripping people or you can level up by doing quests right here inside the guild hall if you actually hover over these it actually shows you the quest that you actually want instead you just clicking on it and giving you a random quest like any other game 
you can click on these quests and it'll tell you to collect scrolls all the way over there and then take them to a little client but i don't feel like doing that right now that actually shows up the quest inside of this run right here since rank requirement is f therefore we'll be actually having level higher rank requirements in the future make sure to keep on for that and it says right here cancel quests boom so now next is uh that's one way how to actually level up your stuff actually um another thing too is that graces you want to learn how to get graces well here's how it goes every 10 levels you always acquire a grace i think at the time of this recording i do not know how to really you know really acquire graces that properly yes so, you know don't take my word for it we have the main man over here the sound designer of the game he said do you like the sounds in this game make sure to click yeah because if you click no um uh, you're just you're just not cool next is meat now paul you guys must be wondering what i need meat for meat is going to be very very major in this game meat like literally literally meat is going to be majorly important so for me in order for you to buy meat you need money and in order for you to recover some of your mana you have a hunger bar and you need to really pay attention to the hunger bar you can go over here to the main man over here named damon zen there you go to the merchant hey what's up are you looking to sell some items yeah this is where you can actually go to sell your primary weapon or sell your collectibles and next we have leandre me inside of the game yes sir the shark fin if you actually click it senko is the best brother i ever had and click yes but doesn't it literally glitches you for some reason okay and if y'all want to ever create a squad you can go over here to create a squad down here you can view your members of your squad invite or kick them and disable indicator means that if you have disable kinder off you won't be able to locate your teammates if you keep it on you'll be able to see your teammates do a little outline of green this guy over here when you actually first thought out he's the helper he said hey i'm the helper do you need any tips start by going to the fairytale get hall that's where everything begins i'll give you some jewels to start you off so he actually gives you some jewels when you actually start off inside of the game and now let's get on to the training now now there's actually four types of training inside of this game we have push-up training squad training magic training mana training and setup training i'm not going to be showcasing the location to where you can actually get your trainer but all i say is that he's going to be around the edge of this map probably hint it's in the woods well not in the woods it's around some woods so as you can see right here we have push-up training setup training and squad training we're going to give myself magic training as a first so right here we have magic training it says right here that you just do this and then it actually shows the little aura coming around you and then you have a little time limit of how many times you can actually press this now if you say you press k you get it wrong boom it says four out of five type beat so i recommend you try to go you know a little 100 percent you know word for word type beat and it says right here you have successfully completed the training and every time you always complete the training if you go to the stats and turn page it will say that you obviously get a plus one up here i'm pretty sure and every time you always use it you're always going to get rid of it so one thing i recommend too is that you can actually make certain bills in this game so you know definitely try to save your money for this little training it'll definitely come in handy i don't know if there's a limit on how much you can use probably like 30 before you stop getting xp from them next one we're going to do for an example is i'm not going to showcase you guys every single training but you know i'm just going to showcase you the basic we all know magic training trains your magic mana trains and chase how much mana i'm pretty sure you have uh push up training you know trains your strength setup training i think it trains your defense i'm pretty sure and squat training trains your speed oh we're gonna do squat training for an example so here we have squat training boom there we go you have successfully completed this training the training will give you a plus one on your stack kind of like a little buff without you really having to level up then we have this little area over here where you actually go to pick up the squirrel now here's one other thing i also got to tell y'all too there's actually a boss inside this game basically a pig that will you know booty clap you or is down here that you can actually go and defeat a pig boss now i'm not gonna lie when you first start on this game is going to be very hard to beat this boss i wouldn't say very hard but it'll be low-key challenging he does like 50 a hit and starting out that's like literally like just straight basically a three hit death penalty so right here as you can see in the distance that's basically what the pig looks like i forgot to actually say but there's actual trinkets of the game if you actually click this you can go to damon inside the guild hall and you can actually sell those Oh, another trinket and then there's actually a chest that's supposed to pop up here i'm pretty sure but uh i don't know what happened to that so there's a lot more stuff inside this game that can basically you know make you occupied for a minute <laughs> 